Ladies and gentlemen, come in, come in. In the mood for a story, are we? Our hero is no normal hero. Not even a hero at all. But a wee little heroine. Fully unremarkable. I know, you know it sounds absurd. She lived in a quaint little village like... Like... What's the name of this place again? Ah, no matter. Even the meekest of slums harbors a wealth of stories. Just listen to you. You're like little laboratories. A little circus was in the region. Traveling there out, wooing housewives and handymen wherever they were about. And from among all these passers-by, Abby, would you like to say hi? Abby, show us what you're made of. Not bad. Well done, eh? Or do you think Abby's selling you short? Abby? isn't here by chance though no this isn't a visit this is her home fortune has deemed her artist extraordinary though not extraordinary enough to command the fair share. the ringleader announces proudly attention the artist a meager little girl child who alone shall confront the beast Abby, my hero. I'm afraid I've dropped my cap. To the rescue, can Abby save my scalp? Stop now. You almost got it. Phenomenal, Abby. Do tell. The ringleader praises Abby. You've mastered that well! But the sun is beyond low, the audience beyond cliché. Good night, good people. Twas the last performance of the day. But out of sight from the cheering crowd, Abby's life is not at all 
crowd. You had the crowd cheering for more! The ringleader praises Abby before locking the door. Poor Abby, held in a small cage day and night, free only for the moment of a staged fight. At least she's not starving, which often occurs, but oh, how she longs to see the world. What's this? A pair of reds take heed and bring you an apple in your hour of need. Storms in, disturbed it seems. What's going on here? He storms and screams. Abby's had enough. Has she no place other than this cage? Off she goes, onto the wide open stage. Impertinent? That means brash. Don't tell me you wouldn't make a dash for it. And carefully. Carefully. So as not to make a sound, she slips away from the ringleader's hounds. Poor Urs. The bear friend, literally strong as a bear. Abby knows too well how his captivity feels. Abby, Abby, don't you see the threats holding you up also hold you back? What business does Abby have here? Boldly press forward, or cower in fear. Didn't you understand? Without the help of friends, and those are very few, your dreams will stay dreams and never come true. Damn! Hopefully no one heard that! Together, dear Abby, you can move mountains, right? Was it worth it? All this trouble? Earth and Abby can continue this struggle. Oh wait, the ring there. You've been found out fast! Oh my! Loyalty of a beast, so often attributed to the heart, but perhaps a deficiency of the intellect? Apparently, Urs found Abby's cage to be smaller than his own. Well done, Urs. This is the story of a little juggler's girl. Trapped in her life, she wanted to see the world. Alone. And, oops, not quite alone. Careful, Abby. Careful where you flee. The world has worse on offer than the skin of your name. <laughs>